I'm going to show you how to add vocabulary to a Dragon Naturally Speaking profile, just as I do in the course of my ordinary work translating patents. And we will also have a look at how to deal with a difficulty in this regard, which occurs sometimes in uh, some versions of Dragon Naturally Speaking. This will use the classic DNS menu. In the newer menu, it's uh, similar, but I prefer to work with the uh, classic menu. These preferred classes include benzenes and alkylated benzenes, comma, naphthalenes, and alkyl naphthalenes. Okay, now we see a couple of problems here already. Uh, the plural forms are not correctly recognized for benzenes, for example. And uh, so the singular form is used uh, as a possessive. That's not correct. So we're going to add the plural of benzene, benzenes. Also, the word alkylated was misinterpreted as calculated. So we'll go ahead and add that. It might be in the dictionary, but the pronunciation that was used to train it might be different. I find this for a lot of uh, chemical terminology. It's in there somewhere, but it's not the way that I grew up pronouncing these words. So anyway, we're going to go look at these errors, correct them, and then put them into the custom vocabulary that I use, and then I'm going to redictate them just to make sure that everything works. Okay, so the first one I'm going to correct is benzenes. Okay, alkylated benzenes. Naphthalenes and alkyl naphthalenes. Okay, and uh, from the red underlined here, I'm using MemoQ. I can see that uh, this is not recognized by the spelling checker, so I'm going to right click on that, and from the context menu, I'm going to tell it to add this to my spelling exceptions so it will no longer be flagged as a possible spelling error when I do a spelling check later. Okay, so let me copy the first term, and now I go up to the vocabulary menu in the Dragon Naturally Speaking toolbar at the top of my screen, which is where I like to have it. And the third choice here in this menu is to add a new word or phrase. So I'm going to, oops, going to do that. Okay, I'm going to reactivate Dragon. Now, I noticed a problem here. If you look at the Add button here, it's grayed out. I don't know why this happens, but it is annoying. And I found that if this occurs when I'm trying to add some custom vocabulary, I simply go ahead and paste the same term into the box for spoken form, and then magically the add button is enabled. Don't ask me why. This happens sometimes, and this is the quick workaround so that I can add the custom term that I would like to have recognized. Okay, now I'm going to re-enable my microphone. Benzenes, and now since I've got some other terms, rather than copying and pasting them, I'm simply going to enter them. Uh, if I want to do multiple terms of one after another, I click Save and Train Another. If I click Save, the dialog will close, and then I'll be back in my working window 
uh, in this case for my translation environment tool memo view. But I'm going to click save and train another. Alkylated. Naphthalines. Now, I'm going to delete the text that I had here before and redictate it just to confirm that everything has been entered into my custom recognition dictionary correctly. Benzenes and alkylated benzenes, comma, naphthalenes and alkyl naphthalenes, comma, cycloalkanes and alkylated cycloalkanes, comma, cycloalkenes, cycloalkenes. Ah, we have another. So I'm going to go back up to the vocabulary menu. And I'm going to put in both the singular and the plural forms uh, because right now Dragon misunderstands the term cycloalkene or its plural and interprets that as cycloalkane or cycloalkanes. So we're going to fix that. Cycloalkene. Cycloalkenes. cycloalkenes and alkylated cycloalkenes, which occur in the petroleum fractions based on naphthalene, as well as alkanes, which occur in the petroleum fractions based on paraffin, period. Press control down.